Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and today we're gonna to look at Aeons of Sand. This game is being released on December 4th, so I think I'm gonna be uploading this as soon as it comes out. This is a retro style choose your own adventure puzzle strategy game. Um, there's a lot of stuff like tagged with this game, so I'm gonna be going to be very excited to check this out with you guys today. Uh, we'll play for about half an hour and then we'll give you our first impressions of it So let's go ahead and get started before we jump in. Let's check out the options here gameplay. Okay auto save All right GUI tutorial show status bar values. I think I want that right video. Okay, pretty good audio and keys Don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Oh, so I was like is this show me a game key. No, it's just the game uh, I hope there's a tutorial there was a tutorial thing. I think uh, does the help button movement mapping range? All right, we'll figure it out. I'm sure the tutorial should suffice. Okay, loading. Okay, uh, we'll play as a normal. Is this thing moving? The hammock? I think it is. Yeah, he's sleeping. All right, we'll go normal. I click normal. All right, let's do this, boys. I wonder if I click the casual or hard if the if it changed like the background. Probably not. So I was looking at this game and it really interests me because I saw the screenshots. It looked really crazy like artistic wise i think this is a mature title as well because we'll find out a lot of blood and gore so it's one of those like turn-based kind of action combat as well and uh, it said you can like replay choices and the characters that you take along with you can actually influence the outcome of the stories so yeah we'll see if we can find any sort of inkling of this today so in the end you are here damn look at that dome there's a floor that's covered in sand, a ceiling that's orange-like, and a salad bowl turned upside down, which is also very large. Alright, I get to choose one of three. I think three just starts in, huh? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> What's that? Give me some poetry. I paid b <laughs> Don't waste time on words. Illiteracy or death. Yo, who'd want to know about all that crap about the story anyway, with all those turns and twists? What that third-rate writer poured, uh, pard. Pard? All over for the better part of a year. All right, give me the gist, will you? Okay, here's the gist. You will see more dialogue during the game. What you will do with them is up to you. You can breeze through them or read them. Your game experience will be different, but you will be able to complete the game in either case. Elaborate, please. Okay, the point is, you play the Sterk, uh, sorry, the clerk Citrani, Citrani, and you should keep him alive. The game is not over until he dies, and this is his story. Kind of reminds me of like Final Fantasy X. That story may go here and there and let you access some dungeons or others, depending on the paths that you take, give you items or companions, and take them from and take them from you. But even choose randomly, even without reading the dialogues, will give you the it's like double space there crawling you crave, and you would and you would still be able to reach any game's ending. Okay, now you're talking. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Citrani, a guard and a small pile of money. And that you'll eventually use to buy your um, stuff later at the marketplace. Reach the entrance to the underground of their city to get some crap needed. What? What the hell's happening? Like, this dialogue's so weird. To exit the town and go search for the lost caravan. Here, your dungeon crawling part. Okay, this is really interesting here. Uh, finally, rats on loot. Here I come. All right. I don't know. Oh, so this is me. Oh, here's the tutorial. You can move through its pages by clicking on the arrows. You can exit anytime by clicking on the cross button. Also, escape to sip a single one. All right. Here we are. Okay. So these are your movement. Click on the arrows to turn. Okay. My compass. We're looking south. With the less left mouse button on the mini map or M to access the large map. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. You can use the uh, W, Q, S, and E do to move around as well. All right, you got it. Alternately, the keys. Welcome to the Aeon of Sand. The game begins. All right, this reminds me of good old old school DOS games. I love it. This is Citrani, your main character. You can click with the left mouse button on his portrait to access his inventory. Click. Okay, you can have up to three people. So one, two, okay. When you have more than one, click and hold and with the right click to drag it over to switch the positions of the party roster all of your characters walk in a line the first one will get more damage the last one will get more damage from enemies in the back health health stamina and mana bars okay got it 
The health bar indicates the vitality decreases. It slowly regenerates over time. Also food, water, and medicinals. At zero hit points you die. When that character is Satrani and he has at least one companion, then at zero he will only fall in conscience. Wait a second. Does the other ones like die forever then? <laughs> if Satrani is the only character and he reaches zero, he dies too, so strength in numbers. Um, so I think it's pretty much saying everyone will die. Like, it's permadeath, maybe? This is interesting. Yikes. Stamina, the possibility for your characters to perform actions, slowly regenerates over time. The desert is full of mana, resource consumed by a regent, air, water, and magma. When a character casts a spell, his mana intoxication increases. When it's full, it's mana poisoning. Don't cast too many. This is the character's weapon. Hand. Holds a melee and range only. This top one here. So this is my other hand. My shield hand. Ooh. A shield ammo for ranged weapons. A few small weapons activators and consumables. You can grab items from the floor and drag them on the hands. If you drag them on a portrait, it will go to the backpack. It might happen that someone attacks you. You can press a 1 or right click to attack in return. If I right click... Oh, left. Okay, okay. Hold on. One or right on the weapon. Second. You can press. You can attack or use an item uh, by right clicking the slot. Okay, so one or two. So one or two. One is the main weapon. Two is the secondary. Got it. Okay, got it. Or click on it. Okay. All right. So you can see this little mini map. Ooh, we can zoom in on it. Whoa. Okay. Uh, this large map shows you what you've explored. You can drag it by moving it around. This is the Indicia. Indicia of the map. The legend, have you? You can. Oh, you can draw on the map. This is nice. Wow, I have to do this myself. That's cool. You can draw on the map. Guide max. Guide marks. Left mouse button to select an icon. And left again. Then the pencil to write a note. <laughs> oh, man. This really does feel like a real old DOS game now. Um, let's see if I can pick a pencil here. Let's see what this looks like. I can't click on anything. Oh. Sub. Subscribe. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Welcome to the Aeons of Sin. Alright, let's do this, huh? Oh, the Underroots. I knew I should have remained in bed this morning. So, like, what's going on with this character? Oh, God. Okay, more inventory. From here, you can access uh, party inventory. So, this is my inventory, and this is the party one right here. Uh, backpack, dra drag and drop, hover over, and it'll show everything consumables you can use consumables and clicking at the right right mouse button uh, let's see while in the inventory you can make the item comment on it comment on it I wonder what that's going to do this is the active slots you can drag and drop bonuses immediately character stats arrow name small arrows characters portrait okay let's look at the stats then character stats okay thanks man I was doing so much stuff for you so much stuff all right, listed stuff where they come from. Their profession, mana, energy, and all that good stuff. It feels good, man. In which they are attuned to. Hit points, stamina, and mana. You got it. So, 0 30. Cool. Their maximum value per the possible hit points, withstand damage, perform actions, mana. Yep, you told me that already. Okay, three stats strength, agility, and intelligence. Strength is advancing the sovereign trait, health, uh, hit points, regeneration. Agility, accuracy, and stamina. Intelligence, the concentration, mana saturation. Okay, you can see the thingamabobs. Uh huh. Minimum rolls, got it, got it. Current armor class as well. Mm hmm. And this is the character. Yep, yep, yep. Traits, accuracy, concentration, range. You got it. Successful hits, etc. Uh huh. Elemental use, duration, or in magic use. You got it. Critical hits. Ooh, and statuses. All right. And this game is not pull any punches when it wants you to learn. What's this on the ground here? I see a bunk. I think I can do anything to it. it. Like, usually with these old games, maybe if you, like, over here, they would have buttons, like, look, pick. I guess we don't have that sort of stuff here. I see a bunk. All right. Oh, oh there's a door. Huh? The wall here should have something to open. Now, what was it? A simple wooden door. So, e. Uh, now what was it? Do I have a key in here? Maybe, okay. Oh, uh, this works like any, but the action is paused. The stash, you cannot place items in the stash. 
You can't put it in, but you can take it out in the middle. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm checking if there was a key here or something like that. But I guess not. What's this? Oh. All right. Um, do I need a key or something? Doesn't really do anything. All right, let's go look around for a key. Let's see. I walked over here. Maybe something on the wall? Hmm. Let's get out of here. Oh, we can leave. The guard waits casually for Citroni at the entrance. Have you collected your desert suit and a rebreather? Clerk, no, not really. The guard's face shows no reaction. His finger pointing behind it and go back and search for it. The clerk resigns himself. Nice ventriloquist trick though. Okay. But I don't have a key. Hold on. Let's see here. Maybe it doesn't show up until you're next to it on the floor or something. The wall here. Oh, the wall here. My bad. There's nothing here. Oh! Oh, come on. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, look at that. Strange root. Alright, be cool. Alright, let's go. Oh, there's a weapon on the ground. What the hell? What's this? A nice niche. Niche. What's an item here? A sword. Ooh, a dagger. Tiny dagger. Ooh, so what's my stats now? Uh, one to two damage now. Agility negative one. I wonder why. All right, DPS one to two. Stats bonus. You think a dagger would lower your agility? Come on, man. So two, and there's a cooldown of two seconds. Middle click to identify. Often used as a cheese cutter. Feels good. You think I put it in here? <laughs> I don't know if I put it in there. That's a, that's that's a maybe. That's a maybe. I don't know. This game has a lot of puzzles apparently. Oh wait a second. Maybe maybe I do. No. Just making sure. I mean, maybe they want us to hold it. I don't know. I knew it. There's another root in the ground. What's this? Water skin. Recovers hit points and stamina. Two charges. Can't walk in here. A collapsed tunnel. Only useless historical records were in that wing, if I recall. Useless. Hmm. wonder if that did anything. Don't know. So that's the way back. Uh, it's probably like secret routes all over the place, but we don't want to stop there the whole time, do we? Okay. Note to self, when in doubt, flee. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, new game. Yes, yes, yes. Save it. Save it. Yep. Save it. Enter. Uh, let me check if there's an F5. Game save. There is an F5. Uh, what is it? F6? F9? F9. Okay. F5, F9. Let's go. As usual. Hey, look. Look at that. You think you click on that, maybe? Interesting. Where are we? I don't know what's happening. We're looking for a rebreather or something. Is this how to open every door? Just this? Under roots among other small things. The place where the destute, the destute live. If you can call this living. Dude, I have no idea where I'm going right now. There's another one of these things. What's that? A bundle of parachute leaves. What? My inventory? Parachutium leaves. Let's take a peek at that. Um, it okay. Use it as a shield. Recover hit points and stamina. Gain two HP, six stamina. Middle click to identify. So gain two HP, eight stamina. This thing just says hit points and stamina. It doesn't say how much though. No. Interesting. Well, I have to put it here. Weird. <laughs> Awkward. All right, how do we get out? Huh. What's that? Is that an enemy? Oh! That's, I, I can't see. Sticky, uh... Man, uh, collect them from the spiky bushes. Konami, hardcore bush. Low rain, I guess. Hello, everybody! The disenfranchised of Pentella. Reminder not to piss off the brown leaves. I'll piss on the brown leaves. They don't give me some stuff. Sweet fruit? So some sweet fruit. That probably heals me a bunch, too. Alright. Go. Oh, look at all this. Crates, boxes, and jar of goods. Okay. Um, cozy, I suppose. Ooh, a tunic. I don't know if I can wear that. We're already wearing a tunic. I don't know if we already had one. We probably did. Alright, just keep looking on the map. Let's see here. We have not gone this way yet. What's that? 
I admit it, I live a life of privilege well so far. What is this? I see a rusty pipe. Oh, that's much better. That's much better damage, right? It cooldowns a little bit more, but you don't get negative AG, agility. Okay. Don't know where I'm going now. I don't know how much of this is like pre generated or something. I'm gonna save again. It's gonna be one of those games, man. Gotta be saving a lot, I guess. Impress the map. Alright, yeah, we are going the right way. What's this? This is, um. Oh, subscribe. That's why I started. <laughs> don't know what this is. Oh, that's the one I couldn't open. I remember. Yeah, that was the other one I couldn't open. Okay. You hear something? I think I hear something. Oh god, I knew it! Oh god! Oh, a real-time encounter. Oh look, a very large hostile rat. You can fight with the bare hands. Or for the party, okay. However, if you have a weapon, uh let's see, drag it and drop the weapon the other hand. Highlight it. Please keep in mind short cooldown, so time your attacks. So it's like real time? To hit your opponent is only one part. You have to not get hit. So to do so, you can time your blows in preparation to break the incoming to break the attack, or you can dodge. No longer be in front of the enemy. You can strafe left or right. Strafe? I don't know. Huh? I got him. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't know what the cooldown is. I get him. I killed it. I got it. Did I get experience? This is weird. So, <laughs> you, you, so it's it's. It feels a little weird to be actively dodging enemies, but I'm down. All right, we did it. We didn't take any damage. That's good. Yeah, you, you gotta be like really fast then if you're gonna be playing with a lot of characters like this. What's this? A curtain. Yeah, the rat infestation explained why the squatters have retired from the section of the underroots. Whoa, bones. Dead body. Nothing here, huh? Bunch of dead bodies. All right, I I, I kind of like this. It's a little weird. I heard in the common room that a citizen went crazy and almost killed somebody. Yeah, yeah I bet. Where is the root that we grab here? There's no. Uh, this one doesn't have a root, or maybe it's something different. Hmm. Maybe there could be something different. Let's see here. Just making sure. All right, so it is an openable. It seems. Oh no! Oh, there you go. A little bit further out. This game is a little scary, dude. Oh god. Bam! Wait, what? Wait, what? Bam, bam! Oh god. Oh god, where is it at? Doosh! Oh, he got me! Come on! I'm getting hit? Another rat. Oh god, I swung. And I didn't mean to swing. Where'd he go? Where are you going? Come here! Doosh! Oh my god. Dude, this combat's so weird. I like it though, it's interesting. What's this? Don't get up on my account. Is there a dead guy here? What's going on? The skeleton is more dead than any of them. This thing? That's a skeleton? What's my health at? I can't even see my health. Oh, here you are. 26 to 25. So it says it heals over time. Since this is real time, I don't think it matters if you're moving or not. It must just, you know, just take time. More bones. You see a hole in the ceiling. Oh, wow. Hole in the ceiling. Oh god. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Cat. Yeah. Looks like I can two shot rats. Oh, that's good. What's that? Water skin. Okay. Well, we have two water skins now. Before we open the doors. What's that going to do? I'm going to guess maybe we put something on it. Yeah, that closed the door. Maybe this one. Let's put something on it. I guess I can drop uh, an extra water skin. Oh, a tiny dagger. How do I drop it? Here? Oh, crap. I don't know how to, like, drop. Like, there's no item to, like... There's that? No? Did that work? No, that just gets out of it. How do I drop it? I want to be able to drop it from my inventory. I don't want to have to drop it from... Here, hold on. Hold on. I think I can do it from... Oh, my God. His controls. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, we can do it from here. 
Okay, so that should leave it on the ground. There you go. All right, anyway. Yeah, let's just go in. Don't know this one did. Maybe this one opens this if it closes. Oh, it's going down. Down, ever down. Oh my god, this looks scary. Looks tidy. I always say the public works department is very professional. I can feel confident already. I'm gonna die. Where is the thing to open this one? Hmm. I have a feeling we're about to die. I'm looking for roots to open up the things. I hear a rustling. Sort of a tree, dead in a horrible scream. Oh my god, this is scary, dude. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Wait for it. Wait! I, what do you mean I broke the pipe? Oh, I dropped my freaking dagger. I didn't know weapons break. Alright, we gotta, we gotta go back and grab our dagger and put down another item instead. I'm going, I'm not going the right way. This way. Oh my god, my dagger. Get my dagger back. It breaks. That's so whack. Tatter tunic. Oh, that was my old one. Plus one abs. I don't know if that's a joke or not. I'm going back down. This way. Oh god. Ah. Come on. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Oh god. <gasps> yeah. Uh, I aggroed it now. Oh, it's two of them. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, run back. Gotta make sure we're looking at the map at all times. Oh god, dang it! Swing and a miss. All right, we're good. Now we're going. <laughs> I'm backing up in uncharted territory. No bueno. Can't see my health. Get him. Oh man. Ooh. Oh god, this is stressful, dude. This is very stressful. I hear another enemy. Ah! Ah! Okay, I, I got... I can't... Eh. Eh. Okay. Hey, we're high rolling against the rat, though. Oh my god. What's this? A ring? What's that do? It says plus one agility. Yo. Thanks, man. There's nothing here. Where am I? Okay, be cool this way. Remember, if you're kind of confused of what you're looking at, always look on the map. It's very grid-based. What's that? Sling? I don't have any range. I think you might need a, need a rock with it, right? That's a maybe. That's a big maybe. Hmm. Can't you see me? Do, 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 do. All right, let's see. All right, that looks good. What else we got? Where am I now? Well, it looks like we finished off this rat infested area. We got a ring. Now there's four doors to open down here. Five, rather. Let's see if we can figure out how to open these things. Mm, I'm just going to scour the whole thing here. See if there's any thing I missed. Clicking around, clicking around. One of these has to open, right? Hmm. Any second now. Come on. I don't think there's a way in. Game saved. <laughs> Do you see that? Maybe it's further away. Yeah, maybe they want me to travel deep to find one on the wall or something. Might have been over here. Let me check. Let's see here. Uh huh. I feel like it's on the wall. I mean, so far they taught me that it's been on the wall, so I don't see a reason to not believe it is on the wall. Except this is the end right here. There's nowhere else to go. Well then, I guess uh, we can't go past this. Can we go back up? Maybe. Mm, go this way. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else to go here. I think I go back up. I don't see any other, like, thing here to open anything. And that just closes it. Hmm. I feel like I gotta keep going down, but I don't know where. 
or how? I hear rats on the other side. Let's go back up. Oh, you think there's like something down here? Like, hold on. Like, maybe there's a thing here? No, I'm back up here. Ooh, okay, we haven't gone this way yet. I feel like my, uh... What was that? What in doubt, Flea? It's just little notes, I guess. Flea is nuts. I've never been this way before. I think there was a reason for that. A reason, huh? For a moment, I thought I saw something on the wall. This? Hello, rat. Oh, God. The dodge is real. Yeah. Before? Oh, my God. There's two of them. Right, be cool. Be cool. Oh, my God. The cooldown. The cooldown. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we get experience in this game. Does it say? Or maybe like after we... I don't know. Don't know. It's interesting. Let's see. Oh yeah. Rusty shank. We'll, leave, we'll just keep that on us. I'm pretty sure this dagger's going to break. So we might as well hold on to it, right? Oh, another rock. Oh, that just closes it. Uh, for a moment, thought I saw something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, game. This is an interesting game, though. Like, I would say if you're definitely into these games, pick it up. This is pretty interesting. It's just a little. It's just a little like. Oh, freak! It scared me. It's real time, dude. It reminds me of that other like game just like this that came out a while ago that everyone praised. I forgot what it was. Totally forgot what it was, but it was something just like this. Except the graphics were like super 3D-ish. Let's see. And look. And where, where is he? Where'd he go? This way. Here he is. Haha. <laughs> All right, guys. So I think that's the. Uh, that'll be it for me. This is it. Was Aeons of Sand. This game is out today. If you want to check it out. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Upload a lot of new videos. This looks like it's going to be a pretty long game. I don't know if this will be the whole year. Probably not. You remember, he said to go down here, grab like your rebreather and tunic and then, or something like that, and then go right back up. So there's a lot of things going on here. Seems like a pretty, pretty interesting game. So check it out. Remember, subscribe. I do daily Let's Look at. But what I really want to know is what you guys think of this game. So leave a comment down below. I'm going to get attacked by it, right? Let me kill this right before we end it. Doosh. I'm, uh, I might play this game on my free time, though. It seems pretty sick. I don't think it'll do well for a stream game. It's because it's, it's a little slow. It's really hard to follow unless you are looking at the map. Because if you're just looking at the picture, I know where I'm turning. But you don't know where I'm turning, you know. Might be going left and right. It gets a little confusing. So, I don't know if it'll be a good stream game. Uh, but, yeah, this is good. So, please check it out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you guys next time.